Does the United States have anything close to the Russian RS-28 Sarmat, also known as Satan II Intercontinental Ballistic Missile? This is a question that might have crossed your mind. The Russian Sarmat, with its ominous moniker, is a formidable piece of weaponry boasting unparalleled range and payload capacity. It's an intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM, a type of weapon designed to deliver nuclear warheads across continents. Now let's delve into American counterparts and see how they measure up. The United States boasts several intercontinental ballistic missiles, each with its own unique capabilities. First up is the LGM-30G Minuteman III, currently the only land-based ICBM in operation within the United States. Deployed across three U.S. Air Force bases, there are over 400 of these missiles, each with a range of over 13,000 kilometers. While the Minuteman the 3rd of May not match the Sarmat in size, it can carry up to three multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, a feature that certainly enhances its strategic value. Now let's talk about the future. Enter the Ground-Based Strategic Deterrent, or GBSD for short. This is the next generation ICBM under development by Northrop Grumman. The GBSD is being designed to replace the Minuteman III with improved range, accuracy, and MIRV capabilities. The exact specifications, however, remain under wraps. And who can forget the peacekeeper? Decommissioned in 2005, this powerhouse of an ICBM had a range of over 9,600 kilometers. It was one of the most advanced ICBMs in the U.S. arsenal during its operational lifetime, even though it wasn't as large as the Sarmat. While these missiles may not match the Sarmat's size, they each bring something unique to the table. Interestingly, the United States has been shifting its focus away from land-based ICBMs in recent years. This transition is not without reason. The military strategy has been moving towards a more covert and flexible approach, namely submarine-launched ballistic missiles, or SLBMs, and bomber-based nuclear deterrents. The appeal of SLBMs lies in their stealth. Submarines can lurk undetected in the vastness of the world's oceans, ready to launch their payloads at a moment's notice. This makes them a formidable and unpredictable deterrent. On the other hand, bomber-based nuclear deterrence offers a unique advantage of recall. Unlike missiles, bombers can be called back even after they've taken off, offering a critical window for de-escalation in a high-stakes situation. It's an intriguing blend of old and new, the age-old concept of stealth married with cutting-edge technology. This shift in strategy showcases the dynamic nature of defense planning and the evolution of military technology. So, does the U.S. have anything close to the Russian RS-28 Sarmat? Well, while the United States does not have an exact replica of the Sarmat, they certainly have strong contenders. The Minuteman III, although not as large as the Sarmat, boasts a remarkable range and can carry multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. The ground-based strategic deterrent, still under wraps, promises improved range and accuracy. Even the decommissioned Peacekeeper had an impressive range and was among the most advanced ICBMs in the American arsenal during its operational years. But the story doesn't end there. The United States has shown a clear shift in strategy, focusing more on submarine-launched ballistic missiles and bomber-based nuclear deterrents, demonstrating adaptability and strategic planning. So, while the United States may not have an exact equivalent to the Sarmat, their arsenal is diverse continually evolving and tailored to their strategic needs. The question still remains. Can the United States match Russian hypersonic missiles, such as the RS-28 Sarmat and the Avangard, in a nuclear conflict?